Hello Rock Army, welcome back to the channel. I am back with an another amazing video guys. So in today's video, I will be actually giving you the trips, tricks, suggestions for actually getting the better win streak in the head-to-head -head matches. I'm gonna actually talk about like what are the uh, various types of settings, what are the various types of formations or what are the, what is the uh, actual, uh, like how you can improve your play style as well to get the better win streak in the head-to-head -head matches guys. So before starting the video, if you had still not joined the Discord server, then make sure to join the Discord server. The link has been already popped up in the Discord description guys so let's go to the number one point guys you have to choose an appropriate formation for you yes it is very important to choose the perfect head-to-head -head formation i will be definitely suggesting you to not use the three at the back formation if you are very good at attacking and defending only then use the three at the back formation otherwise guys use the formation with four at the back and always try to use the wide formation okay so i am actually giving you the four formations the number one is four two three one wide number two is four three three holding number three which you can use is four four two holding and you can also try uh, four one four one you can even use the uh, four three three false nine as well so these are uh, and you can also use the three four one two formation so these are some of the formations which are actually great for head to head and i had personally tested them now the second point which is guys is the choice of the players you don't need to buy the very high over cards which are getting for 220 million or 25 million that's not something great literally i'm saying this you need players with good skill move you need players with good stamina good height good height good skill stun and absolutely good weak foot as well in your team so try to actually purchase the already ranked up players from the fc mobile market and also uh, i had uh, i think like you can get the suggestions from some of the top players as well you can uh, join the discord server you can ask me like what are the actually cheap beast players i had already made some of the review videos as well on some of the very good cheap beast players which are available on the market right now guys so after using these two points third points that is the setting guys always remember defending is very important in the head to head guys now there are three types of players guys the first number one type uh, the example is Somme. he's my friend so he is very good at manual defending he is very good at manual defending he uses the manual defending he uses the joystick he uses the switch button and he defends in the whole match himself but i am not that perfect in manual defending so what type of defending i use i use the auto player switch defending I had actually made the setting in which I had actually uh, turned on that uh, button which is the auto player switch mode occurs in every situation because I am not good at manual defending guys so that is something which you need to understand if you can't defend properly if you can't defend manually then you have to actually let AI to defend the ball for you I use the auto switch player defending and it is very effective for me I don't use I can actually understand manual defending is somewhere better than the auto player switch defending but still still guys if you are not good at manual defending then always try to play the defending from the AI AI mode switch occurs in every situation this is the first point guys now the second point uh, I will be actually uh, talking on the gameplay preference only you have to use the floating virtual joystick don't use the uh, like the joystick which is actually uh, placed at a single position don't use that always try to use floating joystick because when you are actually playing on the screen guys sometimes your uh, fingers go on the left or right of the screen the floating joystick will actually help you to get yourself in the control during the full match so this is the setting which you have to enable in your gameplay preference and if you are not actually comfortable with floating joystick then you can prefer your uh, another joystick as well there is not a, a very big type of thing in that then guys always remember try to use the tap double tap passing gestures what is passing see guys ai is there in the game already ai will decide your passing but i would actually suggest you to turn on the setting of ai like tap double tap gesture passes is decided by you when you will be doing the single tap like when you will be tapping on the ground in a single tap then the pass will be the grounded your players will receive the grounded pass your player will receive the grounded through lobs and guys always remember when you will be doing the double tap on the ground your players will get the aerial passes always remember this single tap means the grounded pass double tap means the aerial pass the next thing which is a very important point is guys the advanced passing always try to use the advanced passing because this advanced passing will always give you a proper advantage in the head to head matches you can actually create some good type of build-ups. You can do the fast build-ups. You can pressurize the opponent. So this point is also very important. The point to enable the advanced passing in the head-to-head -head matches in this game. Okay. And guys, after this, I think uh, auto switch, you had already got gotten to know about like how to use the auto switch. Then also 
ऑलवेज रिमेंबर ट्राई टू यूज द ऑटो प्ले सेटिंग ओके नाउ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इन हेड टू हेड वैन यू आर लूजिंग अ लॉट गाइज वैन यू लाइक आई हैड ऑलरेडी सीन प्लेयर्स लाइक दे लॉस थ्री फोर मैचेज एंड दे कीप्स ऑन प्लेइंग जस्ट स्टॉप फॉर अ वाइल टेक रेस्ट टेक अ चिल पिल टेक अ ग्लास ऑफ वाटर एंड आफ्टर समटाइम्स अगेन स्टार्ट ग्राइंडिंग गाइज विद अ प्रॉपर कॉन्फिडेंस ऑन योर सेल्फ बिकॉज समटाइम्स इट हैपन्स लाइक वैन वी आर वेरी नर्वस इन द हेड टू हेड मैचेज दैन वी यूजली डू द मिस्टेक्स एंड ऑपोनेंट्स गेट अ प्रॉपर चांस टू एक्चुअली स्कोर गोल्स Uh, against us and we gets frustrated and also always remember guys if you gets frustrated by the emotes of the opponent then try to actually uh, switch off the notification of the emotes so that you can't disturb yourself while playing the head to head matches these are various tips which you can actually use for improving your play style for improving your win streak in the head to head matches which i had already given to you now i'm going to actually teach you uh, like tell you some of the practical conditions which actually arises when you are actually playing the head to head match always remember like you have to do the proper passing fast passing will always help you to get a better gameplay of yours like here you can see fast passing and also the dribbling i had already posted the dribbling guide the link has been already given in the description so you can learn the dribbling as well dribbling good build ups fast passing will always give the advantage always remember this guys always remember this then coming up to the corners guys if you are not good at scoring headers then do like me i usually take the ball from here like you can see in saint maximin and i will do the dribbling fake shots i use because i am very strong at dribbling guys so i always use like i, I used to do the dribbling only when i get the corners and i usually score a uh, maximum times and then it comes for the free kick guys always make a curve always try to make a proper curve on the left or right top corner and you can get an easy goals don't miss the free kick as well i'm going to see you like i had seen the players they are actually shooting the free kick out of the box no no you have to make a proper curve and you can easily score the free kick as well so always try to remember that then it comes for the defending always be patient don't hurry up in switching your players be very patient while defending you can easily get the ball and when you are in the counter situation just relax guys use the joystick you like you can see here richarlison passing to brahim i can easily score the counter chance as well so always remember this be very patient be very good like be humble like be calm then it comes for the penalty guys always try to score from the left on the right corner try to shoot a low power shot ball here you can see okocha shooted the ball very easily when you will be getting the penalty on the left or the right corner you have to shoot the low power shot towards the left or right corner you can easily score every penalty in the game that's very easy at last i would like to say guys like with all of these tips which i had given you try to practice the dribbling as well from today itself you can see my videos you can see some of the attacking guides i will also i will be also making some attacking guides as well uh, before the new event releases in this game and guys uh, like after actually following all these tips you can actually improve your play style you can win maximum matches and uh, uh, that will be definitely fine try to be confident don't be panic guys don't be panic while playing the head to head matches be relaxed try to pass perfectly be don't panic like it's just the game it's not something which is uh, like personal because i seen many opponents like it happens sometimes to me as well i uh, it i always take it to my personal thing like when uh, opponent is spamming the loser emote so always try to uh, switch off the notifications and then play the head to head matches when you're in the relaxed situation so i hope you actually learned a lot of things in this video if you really learned a lot of things then make sure to like this video to subscribe the channel also don't forget to press the bell icon so that you cannot miss any further notification of the upcoming amazing video guys thanks for watching love you all and just keep going and keep practicing